All right, bit of Zwift racing controversy. Loves love this. Anyway, if you haven't seen, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Shane Miller made a video about this um, when he was just driving along, um, and he was saying people are doping in Zwift. He is very angry. Um, fair enough. And I said, you know, like it is bad, but maybe not as bad as everyone thinks. So anyway, Dan Bigham one with a normalized power of four hundred nine watts, and then um, yeah, I mean it's just absolutely nuts, isn't it? Um, 20 minutes of 5.1, so that's that's not as crazy. But anyway, you can see that there's some solid riders here. And so he was going on about this confidence rider who didn't want to mention who was basically e-doping. So if you don't know what the story was, basically there's every single week there's races for continental teams and pro conti teams, um, and they're like pro-only races. Right, I think that's a bit lame. I think anyone should be able to do them, but anyway, they're pro-only. Um, and this week they decided to weigh everyone so they flew some like big hitters out to new york um and weighed them so like series leader like ian bibby um a couple of confidence guys and some other people got weighed that week so normally they just you know put in their weight everyone's honest and you know that that's life um but this week it was different so there's a couple dodgy people floating around that i've managed to find um so this bloke dimitri Kress, he didn't actually race any of the previous rounds but like I mean, his weight went from 76 kilos on the first round, which I assume is probably his normal weight. And then three days later, his weight is 70 kilos. So you're like, hang on a minute, you've lost six kilos in three days. Like, that's obviously rubbish. Look at the first week. He barely even tried. He rode at 270 normalized. That's like a recovery ride for him. That's an absolute joke. I mean, like, come on. That's, he's just not even trying. Look at his heart rate. He just turns up, rolls around. And then the next week, like, right, I'm going to be serious um, and see where he comes. He still comes 31st. But, like... I mean, that, that is quite a piss take, isn't it? Losing six kilos in three days. Like, like I mean, that's not really acceptable, I don't think. Um, we'll see how much he weighs. I can't remember how to spell his weight. See what he comes up. 77 kilos. So, yeah, he's not 70 kilos. There's no way he's lost six kilos. So, like, okay, he's cheated. And, like, you can say, oh, you can't call people out. But it's quite obvious that he has cheated because you can't lose six kilos in a week. And even you might say, oh, but maybe it was 70 kilos the first time. Well, I mean, on the internet, it does say 77 kilos. So, um, yeah, outrageous behavior, right? Um, we then have some other people who, uh, from Cofidis, oh, look at him, 64 kilos the first week, fair enough, 62 kilos the next week, loses two kilos. It seems to be this Cofidis magic weight loss formula. Seem to be losing weight at huge uh, speeds. The date is the wrong way around. That annoys me significantly. Um, but anyway, so 23rd of, February, uh, of January, he was uh, 64. Then 6th of February, 62. Oh, look, when he finally gets weighed in, he's eight kilos heavier. So he's gained eight kilos in um, in, a, in a month. So fair enough. I mean, he's, he's hit the gym hard. Um, he's clearly just decided that, fuck this pro psychic thing, I'm, I'm not doing it. Um, I'm going to put on eight kilos. But obviously that didn't happen. He just got weighed. And they were like, well, mate, you're 70 kilos. How, why are you trying to pretend you're 62? I mean, like, what are you doing? You're an absolute joke. Like... Okay, esports for me are quite lame in my opinion. I, do, I don't really, I find them incredibly boring to watch, but some people don't, clearly. Um, but so, it, I mean, so you have to keep it serious. Um, no one seems to know his weight anywhere around the world. Um, he only turned pro in 2019. So he's, <laughs> that's not ideal, is it? He's only been pro for a year and he's already weight doping on um, Zwift. I'm like, yeah, I know it's not serious Zwift racing and like, how much exposure do they get? I don't know. Like, who even watches the streams? They seem to get, like, 5K views, which, to be honest, is, like, less views than if I cover some random French race that no one's ever heard of in the world. Um, well, outside, like, people who are keen on cycling. So, I, in my opinion, I think these whiff races aren't mega popular. But, at the same time, you need to have it as his reptile as. So, we could go over to another rider who, oh, his weight hasn't changed, like, 7 kilos. He's gone from 72 to 70 to 69, back up to 70.6. That's like normal fluctuations, like very understandable. Um, obviously, this is in 2017, that's 2019. So, you know, there's, there's obviously going to be some weight fluctuations. But oh, that, that looks about right. Oh, let's go to the series leader, Ian Bibby. Again, like 64, 64, 64. So obviously, he's just like, I'm 64. Um, I don't weigh myself. It doesn't matter. And then when he finally gets weighed at the Zwift thing, oh, the 3rd of, sorry, the 6th of March, suddenly it zooms up two kilos. So again, you're just like, Okay, two kilos variation. For me, it could be water weight. But at the same time, you're just like, well, what are you doing? Like, I mean, I know a lot of people who aren't necessarily that serious just say like, oh, I'm like, whatever weight I am, like 62 or whatever. And you're just like, oh, I take that. But like, if it is your job, and also if you are sort of 
I'm not sure if they're getting paid to do this, but definitely getting like some incentive to do it. Like, come on, you you sort of have to be serious. Like, you can't you can't just say arbitrarily I am this way. Like, it's quite easy to say that, and everyone likes to be lighter than they are. But I don't think it's really available. And then we also have Max Demon again. Like, look, he just didn't cheat. His weight is just fifty four kilos or fifty five one day. But you know, like, about right for how how heavy he is. So, yeah, I mean, this is the third of. Um, the 6th of March, and uh, yeah, like you can see that, I'm not exactly sure who was in New York, um, but anyway, it's interesting um, to see this. What are your thoughts on the e-doping? Is it bad? Is it just a joke? And also Zwift racing. For me, I, I just think it's, it's not great. How are Zwift going to sort it out? They just can't. There's just no way they can sort this out unless everyone races. Because even the power meters, I can hack, like it's quite easy to hack a power meter um, on the calibration setting. Um, you can just change the pedal sometimes, and that does it. Uh, there's a lot of ways to hack a power meter into read over reading, um, if you really want to. Um, mainly to do to the calibration settings, um, and in some of the old school power meters, you can actually manually change the curve. So I mean, realistically, the only way you can ever get esports taken seriously is if you have a proper way in and you have a proper standardized equipment. Like everyone has to use like an SRM or whatever, or like something that everyone trusts. Because otherwise, like you just buy some like rubbish Chinese power meter, hack it, and then oh what I'm doing four fifty watts for like an hour. It's like well you're just not. Or oh I'm do I'm doing like three hundred and fifty watts and I weigh like forty kilos. It's just like well like come on. Um, so yeah, I I think it's quite stupid. This whole thing. Um, like the whole cheating on Zwift, um, but fair enough, everyone's gonna cheat, you gotta do it, if it's a job, you know, you, you're gonna cut corners if it's possible, but maybe next time you just don't make it so obvious, like, eight kilos, like that idiot Damien Tuzu, I mean, like, what an absolute donor, eight kilos, like, no one noticed, just like, oh, you get eight kilos, oh, that, that's not fair, like, you know, just, just, just a month, eight kilos, We're pretty, sounds pretty reasonable, um, but anyway, yeah, it's pretty funny, isn't it? Um, I mean, I'd be like, I'd be angry if I race, but like, it doesn't really, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video and, uh, let me know your thoughts below.